Well, here we go. A look now at some New South Wales football in our first hour of the Friday Night Sports Show. And it's Riverina and Farrah Football Report. And looking at last week in Riverina, what a match for Colin Gully to get up and beat Coolerman Rovers. 9-6-60 to 8-5-53. A thrilling game of football by both clubs. And what a close one right throughout. It was two points to three points Coolerman's way at quarter time. It was four. 4 4 to 4 3 at half time, Colin Gully's way by a point. Three quarter time, Colin Gully 7 5 to 7 4, still a point in front. And then running out winners with a two goal one to one goal one last quarter to get home. Redfin did all he could to win it for Coolerman with four goals and Barrett and Buchanan a couple. Small, well, he was probably not small. He was big on the ground, kicked five. Harper, three. And Sandbrook and Small and Perryman were great for Colin Gully. And they are really pushing up the ladder right now. Now, we'll look at that in a moment. But other matches, Leeton Witten over Griffith for the bottom of the table clash. They won 13-17 to 7-4. A massive win for GGGM Lions at 19-13 over the top of Turvey Park, 2-2. The surprise here is, I think, the size of this victory. Olsen and Corbett were magnificent, 7-6 and six apiece. They just dominated in the end. And Lander and Walsh also supported them out of the midfield to, to play some pretty good football. And then finally, a win by MCUE Goannas, 5-14-44 to Wagga Tigers, 3-6-24. This was um, a highlights reel for Trent Castles. Not so much that, um, that he kicked three out of the five goals. That was a good performance. But uh, they tell me from uh, the Member of Parliament, the Member for Riverina and the uh, former Deputy Prime Minister Michael McCormick, who was at the game, that uh, the cows even come over from uh, the local Manglapar Oval and had a look at all the the, the, the all the and had a look at and had a look at all the tooting of the horns of cars when Trent Castles kicked his 1,000th goal in football. What a spectacle it was on the field by the MCU. What a spectacle it was by the Manglapar Cook at any United East Lakes Goannas over Wagga Tigers to win the match and win it for Castles and his 1,000th goal. Having a look now at the Premiership ladder, and it does show us uh, at top of the table are Trent Castle's Goannas. They are being magnificent. They are in front of the uh, GGGM Lions. It's topsy-turvy right at the top, that's for sure. Then we've got Kuhlman uh, in the next place. Um, that They're in third, but Colin Gully challenging just percentage behind in fourth. Wagga Tigers are five and five and in fifth. Turvey Park, four and six. They really, the Bulldogs, uh, when you say topsy-turvy season, well, it has been for them. And Narandra and then Leeton Witten up off the bottom. Griffith now bottom of the table in this competition uh, heading now to this week's games important match round 12 is got to be the really really important one GGGM play Colin Gully on Sunday at Ganmain match of the round I tell you what if Colin Gully can pull off another win here then the, what about their season and where it's heading but I think GGGM just might be just a fraction too strong and beat the uh, rampaging uh, Colin Gully right now Narandra play Turvey Park I reckon Narandra little slight chance here of a win at home, but maybe the Bulldogs can uh, get some form back. Coolerman play Leeton Witten. They'll need this win at Kindra Park at Coolerman to get their season back on track. And Griffith take on the uh, MCUE Goannas. That is uh, bottom of the table. Griffith at home playing the Goannas who are top of the table. And I think we can work out the result from that one. OK, we head now over into uh, the Farrah football. Round 12 results had North Wagga getting up 16-7 to beat Collie Amberley 5-6. Bad luck to the Blue boys, but they're playing a very good side. Charles Sturt, 12-14 to Borellan, 7-6. And then Mara Bombers, 17-10. Play the Rock Erin Creek, 7-10. And it was a good performance from East Wagga, 9-12 over Tamora Kangaroos, 6-6. Although up there it's a long road trip to Tamora and uh, East Wagga would, may have hoped for a bit more percentage, but that wasn't to be. The ladder at the moment for this comp gives the top of the table to Mara. They're right out in front of everyone with 10 wins uh, from 11 games. East Wagga Hawks in 9-2. and two. North Wagga 8-3. and three. The Rock Erin Creek dropped the match on the weekend, down to 7-4. and four. The Northern Jets can close still and pick up fourth place at some point. They're at 5-5. Five 5-6 and five. Five and six is Charles Sturt University. Borellan and Collie Amberley are 2-8, and 2-9. and nine. Tamora, Nort and 10 yet to trouble the scorers uh, this season. 
having a look at this week's games. And Northern Jets played CSU, an important game of who of these two sides can still challenge for the uh, top four. Got a reckoning in the Jets at Adelton, uh, the Adlethan, they'll be too good there. And then uh, the Rock here and Creek played Borellan. Uh, they'll need to get back into some form. They'll win up there at uh, the Two Blues home deck at Borellan. They need to get some form back, the Magpies. Collie Amberley should get a win out at home against the Tamora Kangaroos in the longest road trip in the competition. And I'll tell you what, this will be a good game. Mara Bombers and North Wagga Saints at Lang Tree Oval. I reckon the North Wagga are missing their coach for this game uh, with suspension. So uh, the Mara Bombers, uh, I think, will still get home and win it. East Wagga Karingal have the bye. That is a look at Riverina and Farrah footy.